Hi, I'm Roger and welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. Lately I've gained a lot of new subscribers and I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. I also want to thank my existing subscribers for their continued support. Today we're going to look at tools so you can detect if your battery is going bad or so you can tell if your battery is bad. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at each tool we're going to look at in this video. First tool is a multimeter. It needs to be of decent quality so you can get an accurate reading. The next tool is a battery hydrometer. Then we're going to look at a battery load tester. And last, a battery tester. Now for these first three tools here, the battery should be charged and then allowed to set for four hours so the surface charge goes away or you'll get an inaccurate reading. We're going to be primarily looking at these two batteries for the video. The first tool we're going to look at is the multimeter. You need to put it on the volt setting, DC volt setting. You can see this battery has 12.06 volts. A fully charged battery has 12.6 volts. A battery of 75% charge has 12.4. A battery of 50% charge has 12.2. And 11.9 volts is considered discharged. We'll move the meter over to the other battery. You can see it has 12.13 volts. The next tool we're going to look at is the battery hydrometer. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see you have green, blue, red. Red is low, blue is fair, good is green. It has different markings on it, 1100 to 1175. It's actually like 1.1 to 1.175. You're checking the specific gravity of the battery. Then this would be 1.2 to 1.25 and then 1.25 to 1.275, actually 1.3. When we're checking the battery, we often just call it 1100 or whatever it says on the hydrometer. So you need to remove the caps on the battery. Be a good idea to wear safety glasses. Now the problem with checking a battery with a multimeter is the voltage can show good, but you can have a bad cell or a weak cell. That one was about 1200. Between 1200 and 1225. Twelve hundred, twelve twenty-five, twelve twenty-five, twelve twenty-five, about twelve hundred. So this battery looks pretty good. Now we'll check this other battery. It's showing about 12, not quite 1250. About 1225. About 1225. Just shy of 1250. About 1250. 
and between 1225-1250. After checking both of these battery with a multimeter and the battery hydrometer, both batteries are looking pretty good. So to check a battery with the hydrometer, you have to remove the caps. And that's fine unless you have a battery like this that's a maintenance-free battery. You cannot remove the caps off this battery. So this tool is completely useless on a maintenance-free battery. So the next tool I just wanted to mention more or less in this video is a load tester. Unless you buy a load tester that's very expensive, they aren't worth buying. This one gives an inaccurate reading, so I'm not going to be using it for this video. So the last tool we're going to look at is this Top Don battery tester. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'm going to have a link in the description. This is the most advanced tool in this test. It's powered by the battery you are testing. So we'll go ahead and connect the test leads to it. Power it up. 12.23 volts. Now this isn't only just a battery tester, you can also use it to check your charging system on your car that we'll do later in this video. We want to do battery, so we'll hit enter. You can see that there are five different battery chemistries you can test. Most batteries are just a regular flooded battery. Now we need to enter the cold cranking amps of the battery. This battery here that we are testing first is 650 cold cranking amps. Hit enter. That's going to test the battery for us. Alright, so this battery is 59% healthy, 33% charge, 500 cold cranking amps, 12.2 volts, the internal resistance is 6 mega ohms. So this battery is good, but it could use a recharging. So now we'll move on to the next battery. This battery has 550, this battery is rated at 550 cold cranking amps. Cold cranking amps are rated at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Cranking amps are rated at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a sticker on your battery with all of this information. This battery is 9% healthy. It has 170 cold cranking amps, 50% charge. 12.3 volts, internal resistance is 17.65 mega ohms, 550 amps is what the rating is, so this battery needs replaced. So as you can see, with the other two methods, this battery looked okay until we put this tester on it and you can tell that this battery definitely needs replaced now, which already... Now we'll take a look at the cranking test feature of the Top Don battery tester. Okay, so this vehicle is sitting outside overnight and it's pretty chilly. It says low because the battery went down to 9.44 volts and the crank time was 2,635 milliseconds, which is acceptable. The last feature we're going to look at is the charging test. It's testing for an AC ripple. 
and it's starting the voltage there. Everything is looking good right now. Increase the RPM to 2500. You can see the unloaded test, 14.19. I mean, you can see the loaded test was 14.19 volts, unloaded was 14.4, ripple was 5 millivolts. Everything's looking good on this alternator. Another feature that is worth mentioning is there are several different languages that you can change the battery tester to, English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Russian. So as you can see from this, the multimeter really doesn't tell you everything. You may or may not be able to tell if your battery is bad or if it is going bad with a multimeter. Then with the battery hydrometer, when we checked the electrolyte in the battery, that really didn't tell us the whole truth either because this battery over here is a known bad battery and the electrolyte was still good in the battery. This battery is used as a winch battery on a trailer and it won't even spool the winch out 20 feet without going dead. So it's, then as I already mentioned, I'm not really a fan of these load testers unless you buy a very expensive one. They're not that good. So my preferred method of testing the battery is using a battery tester like this Top Don battery tester. It tells you the whole truth about your battery and it is very easy to use. And it not only tests your battery, but you can tell if your starter is good and your alternator is good. If you're interested in purchasing one of these battery testers, I'll have a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.